Let's read together. 1 Peter 2, verses 20 to 25. For what credit is it if, when you are beaten for your faults, you take it patiently? But when you do good and suffer, if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who committed no sin, nor was there deceit found in his mouth. Who when he was reviled, did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. You know... There are some very important principles that we need to see in these verses. Some really important stuff. The problem is I don't really like it. I don't really like what this little section of Scripture has to say to me. I'm not, I wasn't super jazzed as I studied this and realized just what the Lord was saying to me and to us, and to all of those that know Him. Guess what? I'm wrong. The Scriptures are right. Have you ever recognized how much unlearning you have to do? I feel like there's as much unlearning as there is learning that I need to go through as a believer. And when I read these five Scriptures, I say to myself, Fooey. Hogwash. That can't be right. That's not what I've been taught. That's that's not what I thought was right. I thought it was right to defend myself. I thought that's how I should go about things. And this just blows that up entirely. I am wrong. The scripture is right but I still don't like it. Just being honest here. Did any of you like what it had to say? Were you like, sweet. When I do good, and I'm going to suffer for it, it's awesome. It's the best. We're told here that we're supposed to do good and suffer and take it patiently. This is when I was like, nah. Like, one thing about doing good and suffering, I get it. But I also have to take it patiently? Are you kidding me? For me to find myself in a situation where I have done good, I've done the right thing, and I'm suffering some consequence for having done the right thing, not a a just or fair consequence, but something negative has come my way for the good I've done, And I've patiently endured it. This is pleasing to God. This brings Him pleasure. And this says I'm called to that. So my only assumption is, it's coming. Like I'm going to have to go through this. If I'm going to choose to do good, and make that the, 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 the overarching character of my life, that righteousness marks what I do, I'm going to suffer for it at some point. Else. So what's our reasoning for, these difficult, for this difficult calling? We see, and, and I can give you many other possible reasons, all right, your sanctification, there's, there's all kinds of things we could talk about, but in, our, in the context of what we're reading here, there is one primary reason giving. It says, of our example, that's what we're going to look for for our reason, because Christ also suffered for us. Christ suffered 
for us. His example was for us. Everything He did was to save you. To save you. It was motivated by love, and it was to save you. The reason, the primary reason, Christian, that God will take you down that road of doing good, allowing suffering, and calling you to patiently endure it, the reason is your witness for the Gospel's sake. That is the primary reason. It is so that when people see this, they go, wow, what is going on? Because I can recognize that what you were doing is good, and I can see that you suffered for it, but you did nothing about it. You made no defense of yourself. What is different about you? How could you possibly do that? And you get to bring them to Jesus. Well, here's my example. This is why I did it. And by the way, I really struggled under it. He carried me through it. (laughs) Do all things with the Gospel in mind, even suffering patiently. Patiently. 